Hello and welcome to another video of this tutorials machine learning do it yourself. In the last video we talked about KNN and uh, why and when we use KNN. We use KNN when you have to do some classification based on some data and this was the KNN syntax which we discussed in the last video. Also in the last video we read this balance scale dot csv file in this balance csv and then we jumbled up we kind of evened out the data using this random function on the number of rows of the csv and put it in this data frame next we are going to create the test and training data set so we are going to create train and test data set. Remember there are, there are 625 records in this file. So the first 600 records we are using for training the data set, the model. And then the remaining 25 we will use for testing purposes. So that's why we created two data frames, train and test. Now let's look at let's look at the number of records in these two data frames 625 so it's a it's a good divide 600 records for training and 25 records for verifying that the training is complete or or the model is good for testing purposes so for knn we require the class library we loaded that if you do not have the class library installed, use install.packages and class as we have done in the videos earlier. And then let's find k. k as we discussed in the previous video for this example 625 square root would be 25 which is good because it's an odd number and it's a square root of the number of records in that data let's move on and create the labels for training and test data sets in order to create labels labels are the target variable labels and if you look at it the train labels are using the train data frame the first column which is the class and test also the same thing this is just for the train labels would be used in the function this is your train labels and that is why I have created that and the test label can be used for comparison purposes we'll see more when we reach there so we have done all the groundwork to get ready to do the modeling or the KNN model. This is the equation. KNN model. This is a variable. It can be anything. KNN is a keyword. Train and the training data frame. Test and the test data frame. Class, which is your label. CL is the keyword. And this is the train labels. And K, that means this model is going to do 25 nearest neighbors so k and n this model is now trained and let's do a quick summary the summary shows that 11 of the training test data sets were classified as one which means left there were no balance records with the classification B number 2 and 3 were 14 so let's do the comparison and let's see how good or bad our model is so this is the test labels which we had and this is the KNN model and it's kind of matching this may not be you know same for your case because remember 
we had the random numbers so this this section may be different when you are doing this hands-on by yourself but for us for me for this time of execution there are no two which is kind of odd but you know it is what it is so let's compare let's do a cross verification so I'm gonna do a table to compare and see there are 11 ones so this on the rows section is the labels which is your test labels which is actuals and this is the predicted model and you can see it's all 11 if it has been 2 it could have predicted 2 as well which is your balance so this is how you would do a KNN this script is available on the Google Drive link mentioned in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.